Yo, what is up guys? Back at you with another video today. And we're going to be checking out Machine Learning from the Singularity. This perk is pretty interesting on Myers. It allows Myers to gain the undetectable status effect whilst in tier 3, which is pretty pretty nice. After he kicks a generator and it gets completed. And it's for 30 seconds that you get the undetectable with an haste effect. Which means if you stack it together with Plovia Food, that'll be 25%. So basically... You'll be you'll be uh, walking at about 140% the movement speed, which is crazy. You're gonna you're gonna really notice how fast you are when you gain machine learning. It's crazy, and it's 30 seconds, so it's a substantial amount where you can actually do something. Because for example, perks like Tinkra don't allow you to get this because it's such a weird timing that you need to get just to be able to get it. The timing could obviously be a bit, little bit better, but obviously we work with what we got. Um, we're going to be running Tombstone Piece with this as well to make it extra scary, to make it a bit more, you know, a bit more like, oh my god, I just got found by Myers in tier 3, and then, oh no, shit, he's got Tombstone Piece. It's so nice just to get those jump scares, but it's just so nice to get this uh, Tombstone off, because a lot of people do jump into Locus to counter it. And this just makes it absolutely unbelievably fast to try and even catch up. Uh, sorry, to, to get in, uh, for the survivors to even get into a locker. It's quite, quite insane. Um, make sure to uh, go follow me on Twitch, guys. If you haven't already, we've been testing these, this build for the past couple days now. And come give me some feedback on the build. If not, give me some feedback in the comments. Make sure to leave a like and a sub if you enjoyed. You can also run this build with the Tombstone and Fragrant Tuft of Hair, although as it is very, uh, you know, much more difficult to get a, a Tombstone with the Tuft of Hair because of how much evil you require to stalk out the survivors. That usually you'd be getting left at around two uh, two gens here or there, depending on what team you get, on when you'll be able to actually use the Tombstone. But at that point, they will start to be uh, going into lockers very early. And also you need people to not be scared of doing gens, which can happen. People do have, you know, ignored gens as soon as I got to tier 3 and have killed someone. Which basically makes it so that you can never get this perk. So one downside, it requires you to get the gen, well, you to let go of generators, which is why it's so niche on some killers. But on this killer, I feel like this is probably the best killer to have it on. You can probably also combo this with some other vault perks or like, you know, superior anatomy and bamboozle so that there's no way that they get away from you aside from lockers. Because um, obviously if you know that every single interaction blocks tombstone from being able to happen and that's both tombstones, the tombstone piece and the tombstone, it's, it's really, it's really good. But anyways, thank you guys and I'll take you all over to the game. All right, anyways. Right. First of all, get that. Ooh, Nancy actually here. Let's go. All right, let's get that. Uh, let's get that. Uh, play with your food if we can. Now let's activate machine learning. Can I start chase? So tombstone piece without nerfs. If you uh, a perfect stock is three, you can kill. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, but um, I'm not too perfect with the stocks, so I'm <laughs> probably only gonna get two here. Nice, now let's activate machine learning on that gen. Let's quickly grab whoever's on this gen. And grab her and kill her. Because that's the obsession, we've got our three stacks anyway. We haven't stocked the other person, whoever's in the match. Mm, don't want to stalk her anymore. Uh, the Meg we need to find. Five gens though. <laughs> Five gens.
Mm, apparently we've stopped there already. I guess that was at the beginning. Um, what we can do here actually is do this. And now we're stealth mode. And look how quick we are. Look how quick we are. <laughs> look how quick we are. There we go. Four K points. If you're happy. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You were obsession. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. You see how quick we were. <laughs> Activate that there, and then we move it over here. I think we're out. Never tear up again. I probably won't, man. I probably won't. Meg's got really, like, you know, like, stalked out. I don't know how, though. I don't remember seeing her too often. Oh. Mm. Mad cause bad, right? Mad cause bad. <laughs> and that's the build, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Machine learning is pretty crazy. Combo with play with your food on Myers is pretty, pretty good. And especially with Tombstone Piece, it makes it so much more difficult and more punishing for the survivors it's really insane but either way let me know if you think you're going to try this out when you're going to be playing doomstone piece next time or just mize in general let me know in the comments down below make sure to leave a like and a sub and i hope you guys enjoyed see you in the next video bye guys